I don't see her mag here. We're missing it somewhere. It's probably back in that that one area that you often start in. Where that capsule was that time. her Meg. I didn't pick up her Meg somewhere, did I? I don't recall picking it up, did I? Let's go talk to her again. Okay, so if I said before, if I said that I was looking for it, she would have came with me. What a pain in the neck. I was just, you know, I was just being honest with her. She asked me if I saw it, and I said no. Alright, so this is kind of like the game's tutorial on mags. You know, as much as I remember about this game, you know, Soul Leader, you know, all the NPCs, the story elements, there's a lot I don't remember. It's mostly dealing with the NPCs that kind of throws me for a loop. See, this is all stuff I know. Yeah, Photon Blast, that's what they call it in this. I, I likened it to the Limit Breaks from Final Fantasy, because it is kind of like that, but yeah, Mags emit a Photon Blast. So is this where she wants me to take her? Is she gonna... yeah, there it is. I just saw it over there. It's sparkly on the ground. feel like I'm missing something. I really don't think that I am. If I am, I apologize in advance, but I think I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this quest.
I gotta talk to this guy. See, this, this is the situation that you find yourself in, in a game that doesn't have waypoints. You kind of have to feel your way through NPC dialogues and medium to old school, like, game mechanics right here. Some, sometimes it can be hard to deal with, and, you know, it's like I said, it's been a while since I played this, but I'm all about it, you know? I can use my fire spell. That's good. See, that frame sells for more, but the uh, the stats aren't as good. I'll just sell it. I'm just interested in this quick logic where I just want to get things done. I just happened to notice that I happened to give it a second look, so... Alright, so that's a fire spell. See, I want to go to customize. Normally, I have this set up way different. You actually have a heavy attack. Well, that is the heavy attack, but there's like a super ultra mega attack, which um, you can incorporate in your combos, combos later. The thing is, like, if you start with that, like, that should be the third hit. Like, first hit of the combo, second hit of the combo, third hit of the combo. That's the best combo, but you don't, you can't, you don't get access to that later, till later. So, um, we'll keep things set up the way they are right now, but I am going to put, um, the fire, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm going to put this fire spell here. I don't really care about shortcutting any of that stuff. Um, I'm gonna hang on to these because I'll be able to use those soon. That's health, and that's lightning. Uh, a couple of antidotes are always good to have. Antiparalysis, always good to have. Keep that telepipe, although I probably won't use it. And a mono grinder, which I'll put in the bank. All right, let's go take care of that. I uh, I don't really buy items in this game. I kind of survive on drops. It's kind of been my mo in this game forever. Back when this game was played online, and this was on the Dreamcast, users would go around to other people's games and drop gold, or mesita, or mesita. They would drop hundreds of thousands of mesita on the ground, and players would pick it up, unsuspectingly, you know, just thinking that someone was trying to do something nice for them. But what it was, it was a virus that would, it was a virus that would corrupt your, your data. Um, it would corrupt your save. Alright, it's my duty to report what's on Raggle. Take me with you.
Are you a hunter? Hi, I'm Nal Rinaldi. A journalist. I'm guessing her last name is pronounced Rinaldi. There's no accent over the E, but... Have you seen the online news on Pioneer 2? That's my job. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to read all this. She wants to go to the Central Dome. Now that is in Forest 2, which means this is the first quest where we're going to see uh, the Forest 2. In fact, completing this quest might be a good uh, stopping point, because then you'll see, you know, the Forest 2 zone and, uh, you know, move on from there check out episode 2. I think this will be a good uh, a good stopping point. Not hungry yet. I should check out my fire spell. Yeah. Awesome. God, I wish my mag was hungry. There's stuff that I can't pick up. You know, I have a... Uh, now that I have a spell, I should shortcut my blood fluids. Because that, uh... Those refill my TP, which is kind of like mana. I just love this game. Like, I'm so happy to be playing it, and I'm kind of glad. I'm, like, I'm kind of realizing that I made the right call doing the GameCube version because even though, like, like I said, you know, my heart is with the Dreamcast version. I just, I really like the GameCube controller. It just, it feels really good to play. I, I, I hesitate to call this the definitive version of the game, but it might be my favorite to play. Alright, can I feed the mag yet? Man, I'm not hungry yet. I think it's like three and a half minutes. Like every three and a half minutes. I used to actually play this with a mag timer on my computer that would beep whenever my mag was hungry because it was a set interval. I don't remember exactly how long it is. I think it was three and a half minutes or two and a half minutes. I might have had the thing set to beep like every three minutes or something. So I would know, okay, my mag's hungry now, and then I'd feed it. And there were evolution guides on the internet and stuff like that. So you could kind of uh, develop your mag the way you wanted. Fluid. It's gotta be hungry now. Okay, I'll give it a monomate. A monomate. Come on, get out of there. And a monofluid. And then all that stuff that I couldn't pick up before. Oh, that guy just dropped another mono mate. That's okay. You know what? Refill my health.
I didn't realize guys were still spawning in when I was doing all that stuff in the menu. Should probably pay attention to that kind of stuff in the future. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get um, a mag evolution in before this episode's over, but I don't have my mag timer anymore. <laughs> There is, uh, I remember there's, uh, there was mags that were shaped like consoles, like video game consoles, so you'd have like a Dreamcast flying behind you, or, or, uh, an Xbox flying behind you. I don't remember if the GameCube version had a GameCube mag, but I don't see why it wouldn't. I remember the Xbox version had an Xbox mag. You can pick up extra mags later on, so you can have more than one mag. And, like, you can evolve a mag, like, evolve one mag one way, evolve another mag a different way, and, like, keep the other mags, like, in your bank. So you have, like, a mag for every occasion. <laughs> I mean, you get it, you know? You play this game like a statistician, and, uh,. I don't particularly go in for that whole style of playing. Like, I got a friend that kind of plays RPGs like a statistician, and I it's my opinion that he kind of ruins... that kind of ruins the experience. There's so much in this game that's like behind-the-scenes number crunching, you almost kind of have to play it as a statistician. Make charts and graphs and all that, especially when it comes to the mags, like the mag evolutions. Like, it's impossible to get, like, a high-end mag just by feeding it random junk. Like, you really have to plan ahead. But, for the purposes of this, uh, this episode, we're, we're just feeding it random junk. <laughs> 